first grubby hello welcome in Oric Larkin first have a great stream thank you thank you have a good day at work I'm just pulling up my um, recipe. Leo guy, are you working? Oh my gosh, there we go. Second, Second. you almost had it. This recipe here for the cake that I'm the cake I already made um, but I did it a little different Jean-Claude hello you had me at monster <laughs> you're not working Franken style she's making a monster yeah so I posted the cake in the discord under notes um, like what our inspo is supposed to look like. My Discord on my laptop's being kind of funky right now. <clears throat> um. Oh, wow. Uh, let me just move this. What do you want, Bentley? Get in the camera so everybody can see you. Come here. You want cake? You can't have cake. Um, come home to finish out the day. So good timing, yay, Kankenstein. Yeah. What? What? Mmm, <laughs> this doesn't look right. There we go, that looks better. <laughs> what? <laughs> What? What? Come here. It's not dinner time yet. You don't get food yet. What do you want? It's cool to finally see your kitchen. Oh yeah, this is my kitchen. Um, I baked the cakes already, so it's mostly um, what you want to play. Um, hold on. Let me go to this, and then I'm gonna, like, scoot this. There we go. <gasps> um. Hold on. How do I- I need to figure out how to, like... Studio mode. Let's add another something or other. I don't know. Add a window capture. Yes. Okay. 
okay. So this is our, um, this here is our inspiration. This is what we're going to try and make. Forrest, hello! Nemuneko, hello! How are you? Um, I don't, he's very rowdy right now. Drubs, hello, hello, welcome in. I can't even like try to pick him up because he'll just run. <gasps> Anyways, um, yeah, so we are making, we're gonna attempt to make this. Though, looking at it, I think they're using, um, like chocolate, uh, to make the eyes and maybe the teeth. I don't have that, so we're just gonna use frosting <laughs> and hope that it turns out. Is that kitchen carpet? It's a rug. It's not a carpeted kitchen. It's just a rug. When I moved into this uh, apartment, whatever you want to call it, um, what? Oh my goodness. Bring me a toy. Where's your toy? I'm not going to chase you. I'll throw a toy. Go get a toy. Um... Oh, good. Cake stream, let's go. Yeah, so I will say the cake has already been baked. Um, so this is... Oh, wait, you can't see it because I'm... So this is one of the cakes. I have three cakes already baked. Um, they're kind of in cooling right now. But we're just going to do... We're going to do the decorating and we're going to make cake pops. So, we're making cake pops and decorating today. Um, and maybe trying to play with Bentley because he really apparently wants to play really badly. Candy corn for the teeth would have been cool. Ugh. I wish you would have said that. I wish I would have showed this and talked about it with you guys first so that you could have said that before I started because I don't have any candy corn. <laughs> um... But yeah, so the idea is, I d I've not made any of the frosting yet, so we're going to make the, f the frosting, the icing, um, and then just assemble, basically. <clears throat> I did put, if you do, um, what is it here, exclamation mark recipe, it'll show you, it should, did I not do it right? Hold on. I don't know if I did it right. D oh, I spelt recipe wrong. <laughs> Apparently. There we go. Yeah. I probably still spelt it wrong. I don't know. I don't know how to spell. <laughs> um, Flawless, hello. Welcome in. Come here. Come. <laughs> there we go. Okay, now we got him. So, I put the recipe. I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> he kept barking. He wants my attention, but he wants me to play with him. But it's not play time. Um, the pics on these food blogs, man, they're so good. Oh my gosh. Just waiting to leave work. Yay! I hope it was a good day. You know, it's Monday. Um, yeah, I found this lady, the food, this pumpkin spice cake. I found her Pinterest. Because the Pinterest pictures were just so, like, the cakes and everything looks so good. So I'm using this cake recipe, like, even with the caramel sauce in the middle. But I'm not decorating it like that. I'm going to decorate it in a monster cake way. Um, cause it's, we're getting close to Halloween. So I was like, meh, let's do some, let's do a spooky cake instead. And then I can try to attempt to make cake pops and see how that goes. Cause I've never made cake pops before. So that'll be something new. 
Um, okay. There's always homemade caramel being spooned into desserts on these pit blogs. Well, she actually didn't give the recipe for homemade caramel sauce. She just said caramel sauce. And I don't know how to make... I mean, I know... I understand the concept of making homemade caramel sauce, but I don't know how to actually make it. I've never successfully attempted. So I bought this stuff and we're just gonna use this caramel sauce instead <laughs> to put in the middle. <laughs> um, okay, but first we need to make the when this is a vegan pumpkin spice cake, but I am not using vegan ingredients. I'm using normal, like, non-vegan ingredients. I'm using animal ingredients. That sounds weird. Ingredients that have come from cows and chickens and stuff. Really just cows, but... Um, yes. We are using regular Walmart vegan. <laughs> yeah, we're using regular butter. We're using regular, you know, dairy, cream cheese, icing, sugar, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Wagon? Um, okay. So, though all of this is in, like, grams, and I always go everything off of, like, cups and stuff. So, this will be interesting. Um, okay. Watch me not even have enough of whatever I need to make this. Okay, so I had 400 grams. This is 453 grams. No, wait, 80 grams of this. Oh, shoot, I don't think I have enough butter. <laughs> okay, 400 grams of butter. Um, how many grams is this? 50 gram, 56. We have to do some math. I need a calculator. Um, okay, wait. So this is supposed to be 56 grams. So 56 times 3. I'm not a quick math person. And then 227 plus 227. That's like five grams short of what we need. That's fine. Okay. How many grams is this? Hold on, let me wash my hands. So this is like literally one gram, okay. That's close enough, we'll go with that. And then this can go back in the fridge. I'll say this whole recipe I was kind of like, eh, that's close enough if I was like a gram off. <laughs> um, okay, so we're making the, the frosting or the icing or whatever you want to call it. 
Um, we then we also have to make like um, an icing for the cake pops because they use like a different kind of icing. Okay. So to make the frosting, so in a large bowl. Which I'm gonna have to like wipe this out. I just used it earlier for the cakes. Um, let's just do this. So we're gonna need all this butter. This is a lot of butter. I think this is a great time for this too because it seems like everybody's like finishing up work and while they're going home from work if they actually want to see this they'll be home just in time for when I actually probably start decorating. <laughs> dun, dun. Or making the cake pops. I'm mixing butters. Some of this is Lando Lakes, and then some of this is this, like, what is it? Kerrygold? Kerrygold? Is that how you say that? Look at the difference, too, in this butter. This, like, really yellow versus... I mean, I don't know if you can tell on the, the camera. I can tell. It's, like... This is like a nice pale yellow. Well, this is like yellow. European butter is always more yellow. Well, I like European butter or European butter. <laughs> I usually always end, like get the carry gold stuff, unless I'm like saving money, then I kind of go <laughs> a little. Can do some mouse Drew, hello, save me a plate, uh, Merlin. We're making a monster cake. I've already made the cake in advance. We're doing all the decorating and assembling today. This is a pumpkin spice cake, and we're doing like um, I guess kind of like a cinnamon sugar frosting with and then we're gonna decorate it like a monster and we'll do like little cake pops too which I've never done cake pops so that's a new th new thing for me okay so I need 80 grams of this it's 34 Blech. 52 
Yes, it's a, it's a superior one. <laughs> yeah. Um. Seventy-five. Ah, uh, eighty-three. Eighty-one. Close enough. <laughs> uh, okay, so we'll dump this cream cheese in there. It's mostly butter. <laughs> Frosted in a large bowl, add the dairy free butter and the cream cheese. Whip until creamy. Use a stand mixer. So we're just gonna whip this. Whip it. Oh, whip it good. All that stuff. So I got my little whiskey. Um, I hope this isn't gonna be too loud. Hopefully it's fine. Butter, whip it! Look at good! Okay, I'm taking a thing for Instagram real fast. Hold on. Like, come on people, let's watch cake. If it'll go. What do you guys think of this? Well, that a good little like teaser video? <laughs> Saying decorating a monster cake. Um, link twitch.tv dot slash Kim Karma. Let's go. Okay. Cool. Noise, I'd be interested. You already hear, you already interested. <laughs> oh my gosh. My whisk. The butter's so cold. Hopefully I don't drop any of this. Look at this. <laughs> Whoops. Um, okay. I think that's so funny. Well, that's beside the point. I love- I wait. I'd leave come back for that post. <laughs> that's funny. Like, I'm just gonna leave and then look at the post and be like, yes, monster cake, let's go. Man, these cakes smell so good. Ah. They smell like pumpkin spice, which they are. So that's good. It's good that they smell like what they're supposed to be. It would be bad if they smell like something different. <laughs> Okay. I this they this is like totally bent my little whisk. Or kind of like bend it back into place, kind of. Okay. Keep going.
Okay, so while that's going... It may take a good hot minute because of, um... Because of how cold it is. Is that too loud? Pumpkin stuff I'm about, yes. Hopefully it's not too loud. Um, so I have another recipe for the icing for the cake pops. Where'd I put my phone? I don't know. I keep dropping it places. Okay. Um, do, 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 do. So we need for the cake pop icing powdered sugar milk vanilla. No, we need okay wait wait. Combine and soften butter and cream cheese with the cereal, blah blah blah. Okay, so I think that the icing that we're making, or the frosting we're making right now, will be good for the cake pop, like mixing, like making the cake pops, but we need cake pop icing. So we're gonna combine powdered sugar, milk, and vanilla, and whisk until smooth. The thing is, is I don't know the, oh, here we go. Okay, two cups of powdered sugar, five tablespoons of milk. That's looking good. Korean cake, we are making a pumpkin spice, well we made a pumpkin spice cake and now we're decorating it like a monster cake. So, yep. Yeah. So we've got two, this is going to be way more icing than I actually need probably, but that's okay. Better to have more than not enough, I guess. Oh, cake pop, cake pop. <laughs> oh my gosh. That's a good one I didn't catch on to. Okay, so we got our two cups of powdered sugar, which I'll set that to the side in case I need it. Need more. Now we need five tablespoons of milk, which I used a lot of milk for the cake. So I'm hoping that I have enough. <laughs> Oh my gosh, what is happening here? There we go. And then five tablespoons of milk. Yep. Powdered sugar all over me. Exclamation mark A? What's that for? Okay, one. Two, three, four, and five. Yay, we have enough. Or I, I hope that there isn't a need for it with the other stuff. <laughs> well, I'm gonna be out of luck. Okay, and then one teaspoon of vanilla. So I have pure vanilla extract. Drax, hello! Hi, Kimmy and Billy. Billy's like right beside me, but he's not quite in the camera. Oop. Maybe I can get him to walk over here. Where is Like right here. There we go. There he is. Hi! Hi! Can 
you over whip butter? Is that possible? I don't know. <laughs> It's like, Mom, what are we making? What are you making me? Yeah, I don't think he could eat any of this. I could give him a bit of the leftover pumpkin puree, though. He could have that. Do you want some pumpkin puree? Um, okay. And then this, we just basically uh, mix up, right? Oh boy. Whisk. Oh. I don't know why I keep my vanilla extract in its box. Okay. Woo! So this is like the glaze or the icing or whatever that like when we form the cake pops that we'll dip them into and then let them harden. And it's also like what we're gonna use to attach the cake pops to the stick. It's fucking raw? Wait, what? Ooh, pumpkin is good for their bellies? Hell yeah. I never baked before ever? What do you mean? <laughs> You've never baked? I like baking, I just don't do it a lot. Gordon Rams. It's fucking raw! I mean, kinda. Um, okay, so once we whip the, um,. The butter and the cream cheese. We're gonna sift the icing, sugar, and cinnamon. Whip on high speed for five minutes to incorporate. Place one of the cakes. Okay. Um, so, I'm just putting my hair up. I break regular food like my chicken and other stuff, but never sweets. Oh, sweets are my addiction. I literally said this to someone the other day. It's bad. Like, I'm a sweetsaholic or sweets addict. Like, sweets to me is like alcohol to an alcoholic. It's really bad. What are you? I'm an idiot sandwich. You're not. You're too cute to be an idiot sandwich. Wait. Come here. Right here. Right here. There you go, sit. Am I the idiot sandwich? Yes. <laughs> okay. Goats! Kimith, Kimith Kutketh Cutith Butte. <laughs> Love Gordon. Yeah, Gordon's hilarious. Um, okay. I got a bad caffeine addiction. Kind of me too, also. You fucking donkey. Okay. What are we doing? We're adding um, stuff to this, is what we're doing. If I can get it off of here, that is.
Okay, so we're gonna just set this to the side and hope it stays good. So now we're on to like our regular frosting. And with this, we are adding, um, oh. yes, sir, what do you want? Icing sugar and cinnamon. So how much of that do we need? 360 grams of icing sugar. And we're sifting it in, I believe is what it said. So we're going to tear this. We're doing 360 grams. You're allergic to caffeine? Oh no. That's good, but also not good at the same time. Ah, oops. Okay, so that's 37 grams. And we need 360. Welcome to the Pokemon Center. I love this one. Uh, anyone else just realize as an adult your caffeine addiction just increases tenfold? Like once stress came into your lives as an adult, we're like, where's the soda? Those who didn't like alcohol <laughs> like me. Yeah. No, I, I definitely have become a caffeine addict too. More sweet still than caffeine, but caffeine for sure. I'm not hitting Starbucks every day, but I go through gourmet single source caffeine like an elephant. <laughs> yeah, I I mean, I, it doesn't even have to be gourmet or anything like that. I just... Coffee. Or an energy drink. I found out in my early teens, so no real loss for me. Oh, that's good. I shockingly overcame my soda addiction years ago, but can relate. I actually am kind of the same when it comes to soda. Like, I've been drinking it a little bit here and there, but it's more coffee and, like... I don't know, do you count energy drinks as soda? Because then maybe not, but... Yeah, I'm pretty bad about coffee. It, coffee's so good. I unfortunately came from a family of people who fell into addictions. No, so my addiction to caffeine isn't that bad compared to the others. Oh man. I can understand that. So soda, I don't drink like that. Well that's good. Depends on the level of carbonation in the energy drink. I don't I don't drink rock star. I drink like um what is it? Alani or um, what's the other one? Celsius. Very specific Celsius. I really only like the watermelon one. I'm kind of picky with my energy drinks. You're a monster addict. I know you are. Red Bull is soda. Rockstar is soda and Red Bull is soda. Well, I'll drink the white monsters, the like, uh, sugar free or whatever. I don't know what it is. Cap I, I don't know. It's like zero everything or whatever. Photon Raver! What's up? Mm, I'm kind of a big caffeine nerd. I kept track of the caffeine content of various drinks. That's good though, to keep track. I just drink it because it tastes good. I'm like, I don't know how much caffeine is in this. Celsius and Alani are borderline soda. I need more data. Ah! They probably are soda. Oh, pep belly. Hold on. I'm in the middle of sifting. Blech. If I can get this to sift through here. Um. Green. A little original. Oh, the original monster. Is your jam? 
like most fighters, but that's my go-to. Wait, did we say what kind of monster is monster? Like soda? Probably, probably worse. Yeah, like the taste of it. They're so good, flavor-wise. Probably not good for you though. <laughs> My hand is cramping from holding this spoon. <laughs> Definitely soda. Do you buy the big boys with the twist cap? Oh man, I forgot about those. I'm a monster, just don't drink me! <laughs> oh man. That's funny. Okay. Sift faster. <laughs> I feel like it was going fast for a minute there, and then it just kind of like stopped. Oh no! Oh shit. My little, my, um, fuck. I don't know how much I put in here and my little tear thingy just like reset. No, I don't know how much more I'm supposed to put in here. That's not good. Shoot. I can't eyeball it. Oh no. I don't know how much I was at before. I think I was at like two something. Um. Do not like that. What? Okay. Down for cake roulette. <laughs> like, have no idea how much Gordon is gonna be pissed at you. Probably, he's like, "This icing sugar is not correct." <laughs> I've not watched enough Gordon Ramsay to know what he would say exactly. I know the idiot sandwich and donkey thing. Okay. Um. Wait, sift faster or sniff fa sift sift faster, I think is the appropriate uh phrase. Um you could say, hey, I'm a funny guy. <laughs> For 73 cent? What? For 73s? Oh, wait a minute. To all of my Canadians in chat, happy Thanksgiving. Um, okay. I'm gonna just add... Like... I think that should do it. Maybe. We'll see. This is where my true cake making skills come into play. Bentley will still eat it. Yeah, but he shouldn't. Um, how old is Bentley? He is two and a half, I guess. His birthday's in, um, May. May 16th is his birthday. 
and he turned two this past May. Yo, I just got a shiny I never got in the Pokemon community thing. That's awesome! Hold on, let me allow... Unless... Leo Kai, did you allow that? Probably. There we go. Did it go? I don't know. Um... I think it's a size. They go for... Oh, two for 24. Gordon likes to tell people to fuck off a lot. Oh, jeez. He does. He sure does. Um, those would be two for eight dollars where I live. That's a soda tax. There's a soda tax now? Ew. Um, I'm shocked Gordon hasn't given himself a heart attack from how angry he gets. Bentley is a young gentleman. He is a young adult gentleman. He doesn't get so angry anymore, but back in the day, yeah. Yeah, Bentley still knew. <laughs> He's just a little baby. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, we're going with this, and I'll add more if I feel like it. There isn't enough or something. I don't know. Okay, but I also need to get cinnamon in here. It's a wicked deal. <laughs> Have you been hanging out in a? Uh, Race chat a lot. Uh, wicked. Wicked deal, like, w twice a month for a week at a time. That's why I shop for most things, only when they're on sale. Unless it's local. Mm. One, okay, wait. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Um. I think I need to get it. Okay, so this is half a teaspoon. So I need two of these. Da -da -da, da -da -da -da. There's one, two. Uh, lid. And then I think that's pretty much it for this. Okay, so now um, this is going to go back. On here, it is just gonna like mix. For like five minutes, I think it was. Oh, ow, I just hit my head. <laughs> it's gonna be enough icing. I mean I could make more I guess but when I made the recipe based off of this the cake looked huge and it said it should be three three layers. I'm only doing two but this third layer is like so much smaller than the other two. This is gonna be the cake pops but yeah I'm like Unless my cake pans are supposed to be skinnier, like, smaller in diameter, I don't think it's 
technically enough, but we'll see. Um, Wicked Monsters. I love how easily you picked him up. My, wait, picked him up. My beagle, if I picked him up, he'd look at me like you better let me down, sir. I'll bite you. I won't bite you, but I'll maul you. I feel like mauling is worse than biting. Bentley is like a huge lover. Like he just wants to cuddle and love and all that stuff, like all the time. Um, yeah, gently. I genuinely thought Bentley was a squish model at first. I like when you first saw him. He basically is a squish model. <laughs> Have fun with the dishes. Oh uh, yeah. There's really not that many, to be honest. I'm trying my best to not have a whole bunch of uh, dishes. Um, so you're saying Kim is a witch and she made the plushie come out? <laughs> yeah. I am a witch. We're making a monster cake today. The watermelon on the microwave just floated. The kitchen dude is back. <laughs> you when you see that watermelon? The watermelon was here before I moved in. It came with the place. But at least, yeah, he's, he's literally just sleep, like, laying down right there now. I wonder if I can, like, sorry. Oh, there, he's coming over now. He was just laying there. Hey, dear, are you saying hi, chat? You want, you want some pumpkin? I'll give you a little bit of pumpkin. Uh, whatever she mixed up, it had a lot of spice. Her Bentley potion. I mean, my beagle was a lover, but he hates being picked up. Oh, Bentley doesn't mind it at all. He's just a little baby. Yeah. This looks like baby food. It's, but it's just a hundred percent pure pumpkin, so we'll give him some. Okay. Are you ready? Wait, I'm gonna try and get it so you guys like get a good little close step. They're good. Yeah. They're good. Good job, boy. Hey. Pa? Pa? He's like, uh, no, I need treat. Pa? Good boy. <laughs> good boy. He's gonna keep licking it. Here we go. Ugh. Oh no. Ah, uh, sorry. I'm moving you guys so much. Is that okay? I think so. Um, uh, Ella, what's in that utensil drawer? This? Oh, there's a straw. A couple straws. I have my giant cleaver thing and knives and stuff. Fine snow, hello! Chopsticks. Well, no, so there's these chopsticks um, and then these chopsticks but then the rest of it's straws. <laughs> They're all straws. Yeah, lots of straws. Um, also, as he got older, too, he hated being picked up, but his hip, oh, yeah, his hips got bad. So he had to pick him up because his legs were giving out. That's so sad. He was such a good boy. Yeah, that happened to my old dog, uh, our Samoyed mix that we had when I was growing up. Her back legs were giving out. I must know why you have half a can of pumpkin in your fridge. Why I have half a can of pumpkin? Um, well, because the other half is in my cake. Because this is a pumpkin spice cake that we are decorating today. Um, 
I think Kim is saying she's going to chop us up and turn us into a cake. No. no. What? <gasps> Ooh. Did you guys see that? <laughs> I've cat like reflexes. <laughs> Except it's still spilled. The witch's reflexes. Um. Wait, are we gonna be soylent green? What do you mean soylent green? Oh, okay, okay, it makes perfect sense. Yeah, like I was. I mean, it could have just been like Bentley treat food, but no, nah, we we put half of it in the cake. All that knife throwing, I've got quick reflexes. Ooh, that was Trinity from Matrix Levels right there. It's made of people. <laughs> Soylent Green is- oh, is it? I didn't know. Is that a Futurama reference? Maybe. Mm. What are you doing down there? Oh my gosh, this looks so good. Okay. I need to get this like totally scraped off. Hold on. This frosting. Oh my goodness. I just hope that it's like got enough powdered sugar in it because <laughs> I don't know how much we put I can't tell if it needs more icing sugar. good though. If you taste butter then yes. Okay I need more because <laughs> it does still kind of taste buttery. Um, Soylent Green is from a movie from the 70s. Fortunately this cake isn't a lie. Uh, there's like a hundred billion people on earth and no plants so assisted suicide was courage after which you'd process into what? Is that really it? It is that your KitchenAid? Yeah, it is. I love it. Okay, well, we, I have again. I have no idea how much we put in originally. So we're just guessing. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> hello, hello, welcome in.
gray. Good looking mashed potatoes. You think it looks like mashed potatoes? You should sift more icing sugar for. I should sift more icing sugar for 20 minutes. It needs more cowboy bell. So I I uh I was putting this sh the icing sugar in there using my scale to measure how much icing sugar should go in and then the scale turned off in the middle of me measuring so I don't know how much icing sugar I had in there and I don't know how much needs to go in now. <laughs> So I'm like guessing it now. So I don't have to keep washing my hands. I feel like it's still gonna taste like butter though. There was so much butter for this recipe. General Buddy Bear, hello, welcome in, welcome in. If someone mean and mean was shrunken and you see them in your food or drink, which option would you have more fun scaring them in and why? Good looking pie there? It's, is it a pie? Oh, this is a cake. <laughs> Wait, okay, wait. I'm I'm not sure I understand. If someone mean and mean was shrunken, um, and you see them in your food or drink, which option would you have more fun scaring them in, and why? Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> Ray says hi. Hi, Ray. It's all about taste now. Quite the thought experiment, General. Yeah. Um, I hope you're doing well. I am. Though I'm... I, I don't know how much more icing sugar to put in this. It still tastes like butter. I mean, it doesn't... Like, it tastes like a hint of butter, you know? I wouldn't listen to me, it's probably good. We are all, we are at the mall. She's gonna enter chat and say jalapeno. Okay. Ray is taller than I thought in person. She is so tall. If someone you thought was a mean person was small and sitting in your food, how would you scare them? I mean, it makes sense, but why would you scare them? Someone mean is shrunken. Would it be more fun to scare them in your food or in your drink? And how would you scare them? Okay, so you're trying to say, sh would I scare them into my food or into my drink? And if I scared them in which, in either one of those, how would I do it? I'm thinking of a specific person already. <laughs> Um, there's only one person I think is mean, but, <laughs> mm. okay, if you, if someone you thought was a mean person was small and sitting you, like either in your food or your drink but which one would you choose the thing is is like if they go into your drink they could drown if they can't swim so that would be like evil evil in your food depending on like if you eat them <laughs> afterwards or something like I don't know like a whole attack on Titan aspect um And then, um, I think if someone was mean to you and shrunk, would you rather them be in your food or your drink to punish them, I guess? Very good job, well done. <laughs> For fun. I mean, 
I think you would eat them since you can control the situation more. Honestly, I'd probably... This, this specific person I'm thinking of, I would let them go into my drink. <laughs> oh. Thank you for the follow! <laughs> The reason being, like, this particular person that I was thinking of, they put themselves, like, I dislike them because of their own choices, and so if they go into the into the drink, then it's on them to get themselves out, <laughs> or whatever. Um, they have to swim themselves out and, and get out of the glass, because I've already done what I could to help them, they didn't want to listen. <laughs> Oh, I don't know. Kimmy, I'm 6'1"? Okay. <laughs> Should I rent Beetlejuice for $20? I watched it... Was it last night? It was pretty good. I don't know if... I don't know if I would spend $20 to watch it not in theaters. But that's just me. I would scare them for acting like I would eat them. And then right before they died, I would eat them? What? Billy is going to shrink you for not giving him more treats. He needs to lose some weight. Butta 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 rocket over way up, rocket over way up. What did I come back to? Sorry, Drex. I think you would eat them since you control the situation. I mean, honestly, General Buddy Bear, because you said that, threw me into like putting them into the drink. Attack on Titan. Wow, dark. I mean. Oh, I, did I hit a follow goal? Oh, sweet! Thanks for helping me hit my follow goal, General Buddy Bear. I just hope they can't expand like Ant-Man. We'll, we'll all see the boys. Oh, Jesus. What did they do to you? They just, they lied. Jalapeno, what's up, Ray? Sounds like you're hanging out with Boosted. I hope you guys are having fun. <laughs> see, I told you, Kenny. <laughs> Is it tough being 6'4"? Are you talking to Ray? Because Ray's 6'4", and I'm 6'1". Down the hatch they go. What drink would you have them in? Probably my energy drink. No, he doesn't. He's perfect. Wait, who? Bentley? More treats, more perfect. If you were a giant human with no skin and thousands of teeth, would you eat people as long as they were mean? If they were mean, sure. I don't know, it depends on how they taste. <laughs> we're in the food court. <laughs> kind of! I'm the judge and we're in court with food. You just drank them? A moment of silence for that mean person. If Busa is saying I'm tall in person, that means he's four foot. <laughs> I went to go give the cat lovings and then I came back to this. Oh, sorry. I'm 5'3". A moment of silence for the mean person. So you a cannibal? Oh, in in fantasy land, sure. Um, okay. Part of me says that I should not continue to add more icing sugar into this and just let it be. It is what it is. I feel like I was already pretty close. Ray, maybe you can help me since you're here. I was uh I was weighing my icing sugar and um my my scale turned off in the middle of me adding the icing sugar. So I have no idea how much icing sugar is supposed to go in here. So I'm trying to do it off of taste. And I can't tell. <laughs> I haven't ma I've made icing before, but I haven't made it enough to like just guess or like tell by taste. Um, I would just eat them if they were a net negative to society in my eyes. <laughs> I'd just be like, bye. You're mean. Get out of here. Wait, legit, bro. I thought you were 5'7". She's 5... She's 6'3". What are you talking about? Sometimes I get depressed when I realize I'm 6'3". Wait, why? 
Kimmy is taller than me. She's like five six. I'm five. I'm six one. <laughs> Tall girl. I'm just a standard six foot. Sure, what's up? Are you making frosting? Yeah, I'm making a frosting, yes. So it was 400 grams of butter, 80 grams of cream cheese, 360 grams of icing sugar, and then a teaspoon of ground cinnamon. I, it's all about consistency, so when it's sweet enough and spreading the way you want, add vanilla and stop. It doesn't say to add vanilla for this recipe. Um, but it, I don't, yeah, it just says, well, it's 40 grams of dairy-free block butter, which I didn't do. I used regular butter. <laughs> 80 grams of dairy-free cream cheese, which I used regular cream cheese, and then 30 grams of icing sugar, and then a ta teaspoon of ground cinnamon. Um, no mashed potatoes. So when it, when, so when it's sweet enough and spreading the way you want. How would I know if it's spreading the way I want? Um. Oh, that's flavored butter, not frosting. I mean, yeah, basically off of this, it seems like it. Yeah, listen, Ray, not me. No vanilla, zero out of ten. Your title on video keeps reverting back and forth. I don't know why. So it's seven pounds of butter. Two pounds! 20 grams of sugar, one gram of vanilla extract. Add... There's not even vanilla extract in the recipe. I'll add it because Ray's saying to add it. What's going on? Why are you using a dairy-free recipe when you're using dairy items? You make me laugh because I didn't want to use... I wanted to make this specific cake, but I didn't want it to be vegan. <laughs> but it's a vegan recipe. I mean, it tastes good. But it's still very buttery. You could use it to fill in any holes in your walls. This... Um, what was Kimmy Goober? It's always a fun time. Eh, it takes, it, I mean, in my opinion, as long as it tastes good, I don't really care. <laughs> and so far I feel like it tastes good. BRB, I'm gonna spawn gamers on four. Okay, never a dull moment with Kimmy. The pictures on the recipe got her. They're so good. The pictures look so good. The cake looked so good. I mean, I probably could have done other research to like maybe find a non-dairy version of this but the ladies she's only makes vegan recipes did you add any heavy cream or milk no i didn't add any it's literally all i've done is butter cream cheese sugar and ground cinnamon to this ray i'm on hot i'm at hot topic when you're done in the food court <laughs> are you pot Pawning gamers or spawning gamers? Are you pawning gamers or out? <laughs> Don't forget the most important ingredient, the bones of those who cross you. I won't forget that. It's very sweet now. I definitely don't think I should add more icing sugar. I think it's good. <laughs> Um, okay, I'll add some vanilla. How much vanilla do you think? Or should I add milk too? I don't have any heavy cream. What, you think a teaspoon of vanilla? I'm sorry I am mean and I will eat you if I ever become a giant titan and you are mean to me which you are not <laughs> I don't think you're mean well if it tastes like butter and it's already sweet you can add a little more heavy cream or milk I mean it still kind of tastes like butter and it's definitely sweet two tablespoons or two teaspoons of vanilla or milk
vanilla. What would Gordon Ramsay do? This is what would Ray do. Okay. One tablespoon of milk at a time. Ray equals bay. Yeah. We'll see how this goes. Move Bentley. Okay. I mean, I do. I just figured it didn't, wouldn't take that much to just mix it by hand real fast. I have my stand mixer. Um. Rue telling Bentley to back the fuck up. Oh my gosh. He, um. I just didn't want to step on him. Okay. I feel like this spreads better already, but we'll test um, the taste. Yeah, I think that's like way better already. Like it doesn't taste buttery. I mean like maybe a hint, but yeah, I think that's good. Do you think another tablespoon of milk? Or do you think... Cause like looking at, I'm kind of testing it by just like spreading it on the inside here. And I think this spreads, uh, okay. Uh, we can't taste it. That's your decision. I was more going off of like the spreadability. Because the milk is supposed to thin it out to make it spread, right? And the vanilla is more for the flavor, the taste, to get rid of, like, to cancel out the buttery taste. <laughs> Looks spreadable. Yeah, I think so too. Some people like being stepped on though. Sorry, I'm so sassy today. You know, I found that out because in another Discord server that I used to hang out in all the time, somebody said they'd, they'd let me step on them, and I was like, oh my goodness, I've never stepped on anybody. Milk is supposed to offset the butter flavor. Looks a little loose? That was probably me, it was not you. Help balance it. Kimmy is too buttery. Van yeah, well, if the van vanilla has more of a harsher flavor than milk, so I thought that was supposed to cancel out the, uh, butter flavor more than the milk. And I thought the milk was supposed to help it, like, be more spreadable. Um... So if you think it looks a little loose, what am I supposed to add more powdered sugar in there? I only put one tablespoon of milk. Mm. 
my Discord name is Lead Boom Boom. <laughs> so maybe. It was actually a girl. <laughs> that said that um we're not canceling we're balancing oh well yeah uh, I, I get what you mean though like I'm really bad with words I say the wrong shit all the time <laughs> or I don't say like what I mean all the time I need a dictionary um does it stay on the spoon yeah Wait, I don't know if you can see that. Does that- is that good? Dada! Thank you for the bits! For the foods! Perfect! Whoa, can we baking? Can I have cake? Yeah! We're making a pumpkin spice cake with the cinnamon frosting. Then you good, Frostway? Okay, cool. Um. Wait a minute. Oh, wow, we went from vor or gore to getting stepped on. <laughs> um. Does Stan Spoon? Yep, yep. Okay. Oh, okie dokie. Bentley need treats. He doesn't. He actually probably needs. It's like 10 minutes away from his dinner time, so that's probably what he wants. He is mad because he wants his dinner. Meet up at Kimmy's place for the food fight. <laughs> okay, okay, we're good with this, so we're gonna go ahead and um, get to frosting. So we're gonna put our little crumb coat on. I don't have one of those little like offset spatula things. We're gonna put that. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, and then I also got... Little piping bags and stuff. Perfect. Okay, we'll see how this goes now because... I don't know the last time I actually tried to decorate a cake, like, actual decorating it, <laughs> and not just, like, frosting it. It's probably been years, so we'll see how this goes. Um, I don't know if I should... Okay, Bentley, you're gonna have to get out of the way. I don't know where my scissors went. Like, I, they disappeared. Which I need scissors. Wonder if I can just, like, take a cutting board. Bentley, why are you gonna be underfoot? I'm gonna trip over him. Okay, let's, um... Let's fill first. Ah. So we're filling just a little bit because I want to get, um, like a nice edge around here before I put caramel in the middle. It looks like it's breaking. Okay.
Okay. Dun dun dun. So now we're gonna take this caramel sauce and stick it in the center. But this cake's already like falling apart here. <laughs> I need a cigarette for this? Phew! Why do you need a cigarette for this? way too much caramel. Mmm, caramel. Do you say caramel or caramel? Sorry, it's been a cruel, cruel, cruel summer? You need a cigarette to watch this cake? Caramel? Caramel? Instead of caramel? Or car- car- yeah, caramel. Probably putting way too much on, but oh well. I'm gonna be really sad if I run out of like frosting. <laughs> okay, we're spreading this to the edge. Okay, I want to eat this, I think. Or can I like just scrape it off? <laughs> nope. Mmm. Caramel? Carmel? Some people say caramel. Okay. There we go. Okay, so now we're crumb coating this. Can see. Weep. Weep. I don't have an offset spatula to do a good crumb coat. But, I think the good thing about this cake versus the chocolate cake is the chocolate cake, I like, um, parts of it I cut off to make it even. This cake, I didn't cut any of it off, so. <laughs> and I really made sure that it, like, cooled, so I shouldn't get any, like, weird crumbly bits like I did the last time. <laughs> Actually, so the other day I took some time and went on Pinterest and like pinned a whole bunch of different recipes. And a lot of them are like cakes that have like designs to them because I want to get really good at like decorating cakes.
and one of them was like a dratini cake or dr uh yeah i think it was dratini it looked so cute but that means i'm gonna have to get really good at shaping like rice crispy treats <laughs> Um, Casper cake. If I say the word, I say caramel. If I read it, it's caramel. Or car caramel. 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 Okay, I think we got our crumb coat. That looked pretty good for our crumb coat. I'm gonna stick this in the fridge. So now, we're gonna make cake pops. I've never made cake pops before. I'm not mistaken, I think to make cake pops I need to, um, I probably most definitely need more, um, Jesus. More icing. I don't know, we'll see. Um, okay. There was this crazy towing reality show where they repossessed this cake decorator's moving van as she was loading cakes into it and they all got smashed. That's terrible. What the heck? Oh my gosh. Okay, so I've yet to actually taste this cake. I'm gonna like... Yeah, it's okay. I'm like, it's like a real subtle pumpkin spice flavor. It's moist though. I mean, you could probably tell it's like sticking to my fingers. Okay. So, we're crumbling all this up. It's okay, you're e easing into pumpkin spice season. Yeah. Doesn't have to be like super pumpkin y. Okay, I think. I 
think that's good. We'll see. this real quick. Hey, okay. I'm gonna go take a little nap. See you later. Okay, sounds good. Have a good nap. Um, I'm just checking to see like how we, um, okay, combine the stuff. Oh, this is just all for the frosting. Okay, so I don't know how much we're using. <laughs> I guess I'm like, just guessing. I'm guessing everything today. like ground beef. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it kind of does, especially on camera. That's pretty funny. Yeah, we're making ground beef meat cake pies. You've entered the meat pie stream. I'm like trying not to use all this frosting too because I know I need it to make ah this cake or to frost the cake. I have a small feeling I'm gonna run out. I think it just needs to be like wet enough to be able to form like balls. Yeah, which I think, I think this is good. My friend uh, made me a bacon cake once. How does it smell? Good, it smells like pumpkin spice cakes. Okay. Oh, how big are we making these though? I think is the question. Is that a good size? Maybe, we'll see. Timbit size? I don't have Timbits often, so I don't know, uh, is that like Timbit size? That's about right, okay. Donut holes are the same as Timbits? Okay. We'll do donut hole Timbit size. I think some of these are a little bigger than others. <laughs> it's okay.
not gonna be like perfect balls, but it'll be close enough. Nobody has perfect balls. <laughs> Except maybe a mathematician. They'll probably be the only one that has the closest balls to perfection. I should freeze these or if I should just put them in the fridge. This one's kind of big. <laughs> is our icing for the cake pops and I'm going to use this to um, secure our stick into said cake pop. drizzling. It looks kind of sussy. <laughs> Can you bake those sticks or do you need to bake those more? I don't need to bake them at all. I just need them to, um, I need the sticks to s secure onto the cake ball so that I can like roll them in this stuff. So I'm just putting them in the fridge to harden. And then once they've hardened more, then I'll roll them in the frosting stuff. Roll them in this icing to co coat them. Um, okay, because they're just really soft right now, so. Yeah, move out of there. Okay, so now, we're going to make this orange, but I don't know if I should set aside any like white or not. I'm going to just in case. like decorating or something I probably on honestly need like um, like white chocolate to like temper it so I could add because this is so liquidy you know I mean it'll kind of harden a little bit over time but not fast enough you know you need white for the teeth yeah I'm thinking about also setting aside some of this too I need a little bit 
of like cocoa and a little bit of white. Or yeah, yeah. And then everything else just gets orange. Okay. These things we'll set aside for now. Well, hold on, let me make this orange first. Dad, hold on. Let me do like a couple more. Maybe a little bit more. Woo! Could you see him? This is what I feed him, except I'll switch it to beef sometime. He likes the beef one more, but he's had beef the last two times I ordered food. So I was like, well, this time you get chickens. There you go. Red meat equals best, yeah. I like chicken, but I definitely like like ground beef steak. I make a bomb steak, by the way. I'll have to try and make steak one of these times on stream. Variety is the spice of life, although I think spice is also the spice of life. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I don't know if I should go more orange. I'm going to. Spice girls. Yeah. On camera, it kind of doesn't look quite as orange, but it looks pretty orange from here. So. We'll do that. I need some water. Okay. Wow, I drank a lot of that. Okay. We need just like a smidget. of cocoa to do the lip or like the smiley face and the eyeballs. Like that's probably more than enough icing, but I hope this doesn't make this taste bad, but I mean it's only for like decoration. So I think it'll be okay. It looks like creamsicle orange for sure. But that's, whoa, did you see that poof? 
That was probably a little bit too much cocoa. It would have been better to mix this in a bowl, but I kind of didn't want to dirty another bowl. I'm just kind of like... moving it back and forth. Okay, this should be good for those decorations. <coughs> and then we'll keep a little bit of this. Um, This white as well for the eyeballs and the teeth. I don't have a whole lot left over, but I'll make it work. Okay, so this is what we got left over, and everything is orange, so I think all of these can go in here. I'm definitely going to need way more orange. A monster cake! What kind of monster? Kitty! Hello! Um, hold on. Let me show you. This is our uh, inspo pick. The thing is, is I don't know if I have enough icing. <laughs> okay, that is adorable. <laughs> I'm kind of running out of icing already. And I haven't even, like, started frosting it, like, decorating-wise. wait to see the final product. Me too. Me too. I mean there's only one, two, three, four, five eyeballs on this, but I have like way more than five cake pops. So we'll see. Looking at this, it seems like the cake was decorated from the bottom up. And if I run out of icing, I think what I'll do is I'll just put cake pops, like, where I don't have completed icing. <laughs> How is cake time? So we're about to start decorating. We are about to start decorating. I'm just trying to get the right color. Ah! 
Yeehaw, man! Thank you so much for the bits! Hello, welcome in. How are you doing today? Excellent, so psyched. I just, I don't know if I have enough frosting. <laughs> I hope I do, but I don't know. Okay. How this kind of like right there, I guess. Whipped. Thank you for the follow, you home man. You, uh, we're decorating a monster cake. Or at least that's the plan. We'll see how it goes. Okay, I definitely need to take more off of this. More. I don't even know if I've ever made a cake like this before. Like, like decorated. This is like honestly my first time decorating like this. Doggo! Potato player 2. Hello. Yes, we have doggo. Um, can you, can, did you see him? Oh darn. There he is. I don't have any treats. It's plastic. You don't want plastic. Um, I have one more chicken stick left. You want it? Take it. Take it. Take it. There you go. Oh, potato player. We got potato stick. Sweet potato with chicken. <laughs> that was the last one. You're not gonna eat it? Look at him. He's not even like eating it yet. What's wrong? You're good. Eat it. Good boy. Yeah. <laughs> okay. He is such a good doggo. Um. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Hopefully we have enough frosting. I don't know, but we'll see. I doubt it. Well, I gotta head back to lurking. I'll be back soon. Okay, have good lurks. angled on the dog because I'm sure most of you probably would rather watch Bentley eat a treat than watch me fill this up. filled up. Ah! I don't know. Maybe we might have enough. Okay, 
I think that's fine for now. <laughs> oh no. Uh, look at what look at that, what's happened. I don't know if you can see that. The little cap like came up and then all the frosting kinda <laughs> like hold on. There. I'll just lick it. Malfunction, I know, right? Because I was like setting it down on the thing to like have a better hold of it. Okay, here we go. Cake making time. Or cake decorating, not really making. We'll see if this becomes a success or a total disaster. <laughs> um, okay. Okay, I have no idea what I'm doing, but we'll see if it comes out okay. So it's basically, I think it's like going down. It looks like it's got little hairs. <laughs> you can't really see it from here, I don't think, but... Should I have the camera angled more so you can actually, like, see it? Like, from the side? I don't know. Ah! It's getting everywhere. I am a little afraid that I'm gonna get this frosting all over my uh, shirt and I kind of don't want to do that. So hold on. Let me break out the apron so I don't mess up my shirt. Okay. There we go. so crazy. <laughs> I think I will have enough icing though, like looking at this.
I think the icing is like melting. <laughs> it doesn't quite have like those nice definition lines of like hair. I'm using the hair tip, but it's like kind of coming out like a star or something almost. Unless I'm just not pulling it away correctly. I lost Ray at the mall. Oh no! Did she not go to Hot Topic with you? I'm gonna check Abercrombie. She said something about 30% <laughs> jeans. Like 30% off on jeans. You know, like Old Navy might be the place to find her. So if I'm not mistaken, I believe she used to work there. She might be trying to go see some co-workers or something. Oh my gosh, it just tooted at the back. It's not as pretty <laughs> as the picture. But I also think it's because this icing's so filled with butter that it's like melting instead of forming like hair looking lines. Either that or I just don't know what I'm doing, which is probably the case. So melty. Ah. Oh no. Yeah, this is definitely a cake that needs to stay cold. The icing is just because of my hands, it's just melting. Oh my gosh.
That's okay though, it's a monster cake. <laughs> okay, hold on. We're putting this in the fridge for a little bit. And the icing. It's literally just like melted. Okay, what I'm thinking though is that like, I will refill this and then stick the bag in the fridge. Like got all up on the side of the bag. sit and chill for a little bit because it's way too melty. While we set, let this sit and chill. Chill. Um, I can work on the cake pops or um, dun, dun, dun. or I can make an apple cider drink. Dun, 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 dun. I feel like with the cake pops, something I didn't think about is like getting them to stand up as they dried. But what would I have them stand up on is the thing. I think I'll use this box. I'm like, oops. Maybe cut little holes. Like straws. I don't 
remember how many cake pops I had. <laughs> Should be fine. Um, okay. Yeah, let's test these. I think I almost dripped that on Bentley. Bentley, look. I think you stepped on some icing. Okay, so we're gonna take a spoon. We're gonna take a cake pop that's been flattened. I might try to do two coats, like do a coat, let it sit in the fridge, do another coat. I love how flat these are. I think I know what to do next time for cake pops if I do these again. Oh my god, the icing's just dripping down the cake stick. I don't know if you can see it. That's crazy. <laughs> okay. Whoop, dripping down. Ooh, woo. <laughs> yeah. Stripping down my cake balls. <gasps> oh no! Stay, cake pops, stay. Uh oh. This one's not looking good. It's spinning on the cake pop stick already. Scandalous. I probably should have made this thicker. This icing. It's my it's a little too runny. Hey Rusty! The real food MVP is here. If you guys love food <laughs> Go follow Rusty and his wife Lady Nangata because they're always in the kitchen. No, this one's this one's messed up. No, they're all messing up. Ah! Okay, that one's a bust. This one is also becoming a bust. It's falling down the stick. Can you see it? Bay. I just got to the stream and for a second thought those were meatballs and some really weird glaze. They're supposed to be cake pops. I'm doing a terrible job. <laughs> I've never made cake pops before. Um So yeah, it's this is a new endeavor. These are supposed to be like the googly eyes for our cake. You gotta freeze the cake on the stick then dip them you goof. Well I put them in the fridge. 
I didn't freeze them. They just cake pops, no need to be hard on yourself. I mean, true. Um. Blech. No! Stay. Stay. This is my makeshift cake pop stand. That one's gone. <laughs> I mean, look at how much learning we're doing. That's true. I've learned a lot from this already. Infinite learning. It never stops. If you're not learning anything new, it's time to move on to something else is what I've been told. I, I was told that years and years and years ago. And I say it every time. Like, we get into situations like this. Or when I used to train people at work and they'd get all like, oh, like I don't know anything. And it's like, well, that's good because that means there's still more to learn. And if you're not learning anything else, you shouldn't be in this job. You should be doing some new job so you can keep learning. <laughs> are, you, are you following Rusty already? You should. If you're not. Is that what you say before you let them go? What? No, I was never in a position to let people go, though. I just trained them. I hope this doesn't move my- ah! Every time I insert a cake pop, it moves the other cake pops. Stay. Honestly, as long as they don't fall, I don't care. <laughs> um, do two or three coats of frosting. Yeah, my plan is to do a couple coats. I'm just gonna do a coat and then stick them back in the fridge, I guess, and then do some more coats. I'll probably stick them in the freezer this time. <laughs> um, I'm not to... I'm not to brag, but I got to meet Kimmy. Rusty, date, I got to meet Rusty! I, I want to go back up there soon. I don't know when, though. I thought about coming up this week because I have PTO, but then I scheduled myself a bunch of stuff to do, and I wasn't sure if it would be too, like, last minute. Even though I totally last minute it the last time. <laughs> like, super last minute it. I apologize for not falling sooner. Kimmy, please don't break my kneecaps again! <laughs> Watch out or I'll break them three times. I'm just kidding. I could never. <laughs> um, okay. Ugh. Oh my gosh. Stay. Ah! The idea behind freezing the cake is to make it not as porous so the frosting will coat easier. Well, you know what? How about we just freeze them now? I just- I don't have any room in my freezer. I don't know if you guys can see this. <laughs> um, I mean, I only need five googly eyes, technically. I need to move some stuff around. We'll just take this out. And ah! maybe stick this in here. Okay. I 
also should probably put these in the fridge too. Bentley, you're like all up in the way. <laughs> okay. Um, I would rather be stepped <laughs> back with ice cream and snacks. Oh, what kind of ice cream, Dada? So you're telling me they're gonna be frosting infused? Sure. Just put them in the fridge and turn the dial and make the fridge colder. But wouldn't it ruin some other stuff that's in the fridge? Or no? I'm gonna put these in the fridge, I guess. <gasps> ah! Look at this. They're just like, it's just a chaotic mess. <laughs> I can't even close the freezer. There we go. No. Um, you need to turn that way so you don't get on anything in the fridge. <laughs> okay. Ugh. Oh my god, they are beautiful! <laughs> yeah, okay. You'll take some! <laughs> Yay! Uh, Bentley walking the kitchen floor saying please drop some food. I have dropped some icing already, but he didn't really notice it. I've got icing all over this apron, too. <sighs> Noella, your milk might be super cold. I'm almost out of milk already, and I just bought some Saturday. I would not even put those ones in the fridge, I would just eat them for science. <laughs> the one that fell on the cardboard, I'll probably eat. But, they need another coat, anyways. Um, while I wait for this stuff to get cold again, because I still have to go back to making the cake. For those of you who have just come in and don't know what exactly we're making, this is the plan. <laughs> or the idea. While we're waiting, I'm going to make myself a nice hot drink. This freezer won't shut all the way. Oh, uh, I kind of forgot I exploded some butter in the microwave yesterday. <laughs> in the middle of cooking a bunch of stuff so I didn't clean it and I kind of forgot. Okay. I'm a chaotic mess. Yeah. All of this needs to go in the laundry. Okay. So my plan, while we wait for the frosting to cool and the cake to cool and everything, I'm going to make some hot apple cider. Powdered apple cider, not anything super crazy or special. I'm going to make it with this. And I'm going to throw a little bit of this in there. And it's really good. And you can add a little bit of caramel also. Like a sugar-free caramel. I'll usually do like either this or like some of this or a little bit of both. I'd add a fourth or a half of that rum to the batter for better cake. I meant fourth of a cup to half a cup. Actually, that probably would have been a really good idea. I can't believe I didn't think of that. Because <laughs> I put a stout in the chocolate cake when we made that. Dun, 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 dun. Um, okay. You can still do it for the main cake? I can't. I already started frosting it. You said you had not made it that part? No, I did. 
I started frosting it, but it, the buttercream so, got so much butter in it that my, like, from me, like, putting, like, wrapping my hand all around the bag of icing, it started, like, melting, so I had to put it back in the fridge. My hands were, like, warming it up too much, so, yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Okay. So we got our, our nice, um, our water, hot water. I dig the apron. Thank you. I was, I was holding the icing bag like this and I'm wearing a white shirt and I really did not want to get icing on my shirt. So I was like, I need to throw my apron on. <laughs> I can't open this. I need help. I need an adult. <laughs> I literally had to like cut it. <laughs> okay, there we go. Okay. Lovely smell of apple cider mix powder stuff. And scissors. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take this Captain Morgan. We'll pour some of this in here. I don't really know how much, I'm not really measuring. And then we'll do like a splash of this sugar free classic caramel. And I would do a little bit of this well sugar free caramel syrup please could you give Bentley a small treat his boo boo eyes are getting to me he's had so many treats I gave him dinner I gave him a, a half a spoonful of pumpkin puree and I gave him a chicken potato sweet potato stick <laughs> all just in this stream <laughs> Okay, he's playing us, yeah. He really wants, wants stuff. Okay, this is probably gonna be too hot. I always make it way too hot. Um, okay, so now let's get back to our cake. Hopefully it's cooled up enough. We might have to do a lot of like back and forth to keep this cold. Cause my fingers are just gonna keep like, or my hands are just gonna keep heating this or like warming this up. That little booger. <laughs> Wear gloves? I mean, I don't know if that's gonna change the heat, the temperature of my hands though. But it'll just keep the icing from getting all over my fingers. The problem was is the last bit of this, I, I don't know if you can see it from here at all, but the last bit of this started melting because I was down to the end. Okay, there's so much, like, air in this. How do I get the air out? Without making the icing go all the way to the top. Ugh. It will separate the heat from your hands. Will it? Okay, come on. This is so annoying. Oh my gosh. Where is the air bubbles? Ugh. 
It's clogged. I mean, it's not really clogged. I, there's like an air bubble. There's an air bubble like right at the end here. And every time I'm trying to push the frosting down, the air bubble won't come up unless all this frosting come back out. Ugh. Ah! Did you see that? <laughs> Fuck. Ah! I don't know what I'm doing. I'm not a cake decorator. <laughs> it's literally just coming out the top. Well, the air bubble should travel down and out with the frosting. Well, it's not. It's just coming back up. Okay, hold on. This is so annoying. I'm just starting over, like... like had icing in there well, the air bubble should travel down with the frost take a ziploc bag cut the tip use that well I'm I'm trying to get a specific texture I think I just needed to start over okay this I don't think this is cold enough I'm trying not to waste the icing too icing everywhere and Bentley's like under my feet like no other <laughs> waiting for something to fall is the cake cam glitching for anyone else oh yeah it's glitching hold on I'll deactivate it and reactivate it Is that better? Okay. Wah. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs>
let's put this back. I'm gonna wait on that frosting to harden up a little bit more. Okay, so these were in the freezer. These were in the fridge. do much better. Okay, dip, dip, dip. Take a dog biscuit, crunch it up into a powder, sprinkle it on the floor. Dog will go nuts and sniff the ground for powder. Have a laugh. He definitely does that already with any like powdery thing. Okay, um, and then. Oh god. Alright. These are touching, they don't need to touch. There. This one's already kind of messed up. <laughs> need like one more like frozen one. Oh no this one got kind of messed up too I think okay Oof. stay I just need five this is insanity Oh my gosh, just stay. Stay. Ugh. I never want to see cake pops again after this. Kimmy, I know I can be annoying with my dumbass requests, but could you maybe give the Bentley boy a small bit of peanut butter? Um. Oh wow, just popped in. They look <laughs> like nothing. It cracks me up when they look like crazy in the air. In the air. He doesn't, or does he look like, I don't know. Hold on. peanut butter.
Guide the Raid, Laser Cat. Are they going to be on for a while? Because we still got a ways to go. Um, but yeah. I redact. <laughs> I love him. He's the greatest. Or are you talking about Laser Cat? The tongue larp larp larp. <laughs> Ugh. Put a small bit of peanut butter on the roof of their mouth and watch him go on the roof of their mouth. Oh, Bentley. Yeah. Sorry, I'm like, my back's like hurting. I mean, I'll check if if you remind me as we are finishing. I'll check if Laser Cat's on still. But yeah, we still got a little ways to go. Okay. Because I gotta frost all of this. And then hopefully the cake pops kind of do something. just frost the cake pops with the frosting that roll them on a saucer or teacup till smooth. I mean, I could do that. Um, you're welcome, by the way. Okay. I have to be quick because of how like buttery this frosting is. It's just not coming out of this very well. It wants to come out of the top. not coming out easy either. Like, I'm really going to force it out. <sighs> okay, Bentley, you really cannot be underneath me. I will yell at you. <laughs> I won't, but I will be very, like, annoyed. <laughs> yell at him. I can- oh my gosh, this is just insane. 
Like, I don't know if you can see this. Like, it's almost like bulging and then like coming like together. Like something's not right with it. I probably should have not put so much frosting in it. Maybe done like a little at a time. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm like really having to squeeze it. Oh no, this is good content though. What? Looks amazing. I'm glad the frosting turned out well. It's, I don't know if it really turned out that well. <laughs> it's not coming out of here very easy. I'm probably gonna pop this thing. Like it, I can, it looks like it's gonna pop. Wait, huh? Yeah, I know what you mean with the frosting I'm using in the back. How soft is it? The, the frosting has come in multiple textures, to be honest with you. It was very soft, and now it's not. Like, it's just... This is not... <laughs> this is not going to plan. I don't know if it's my, like, the tip of this or if it's the frosting I don't know it's so hard to get out either okay I need to stop doing this and just listen to you guys for a second stop being an oinker Bentley or spoiled the struggle is engaging oh Bentley I still love you we love a good hero story. Such a drama, such a spin. Okay, next time, hand mixer. Make the molecules a little smaller, more incorporated. I used my stand mixer, like my KitchenAid mixer. I only used my hand to add the last couple things in. easier to pipe and it add I mean the thing is is it was easy to pipe when I did this but because there was so much butter it started melting that I put it back in the fridge and I think and then I, I actually put it in the freezer for a little bit just to get it firmed up but I only put it in for like a second not a second maybe like five minutes or something tops Gotta make the buttery smooth buttercream frosting. Can you scoop out any? I probably could. Uh, there must be a lump of powdered sugar. You got a clog? I don't think there's a lump of powdered sugar. Uh, Kimmy, you could always microwave that frosting. No, there's no way I'd microwave it. Because it's literally all, it, like most, I'd say 70% of this frosting is butter. <laughs> like... I don't recommend them. That might be yeah. It's it it'll ruin it. Put it in a Ziploc, then run under hot water. I mean, my hands are like just gonna melt it. I do think I have too much of it in here. It's just making such a mess. Um, hold on. I'm gonna like double up this bag. Um, that's looking good. Love the color. Thank you. I just hope that it... Use a rag or towel around the bag that'll give you grip. It's not that I don't have grip. It's that the bag is probably like so thin that it's like bubbling and popping. 
Like, I felt like if I put any more of my own force on it, it would have exploded. Uh, yeah, there. that's better. Like, I needed more... Okay, there we go. That's coming out um, so much better now. Either that, either it's because I took a second to let it warm up in my hand while I figured out what the heck was happening. Or it's because I have more... Like, the bag's thicker now. <laughs> okay. Um, it's melting in the back of my hand, though. I don't think I'm gonna have enough frosting though. It's already so melty. Okay, gosh, it's just like dripping. <laughs> Honestly, like, I don't trust this. glob of it on my toe. just eat all that cake as it is right now. Fill the center with chopped fruit. The, the center is filled with caramel. <laughs> it's not scary yet. <laughs> I've been struggling with this cake. Struggling. Put a picture of Bentley in the middle. No one will get mad about that too. Or sprinkle some oats at the center for texture and art. Oats. Hmm. Okay. Honestly, if I run out, I'm probably just gonna use, like, this glaze and I'll just <laughs> glaze the top. <laughs> okay, let's go. Hopefully this is enough. To get, like, the rest of this. I saw some of the struggle at the gym was rooting for you. Oh, thanks. 
Wait, I got it? Got what? Oh my gosh, stop. Do a star zigzag pattern and checker pattern with the rest of the frosting in the middle, then fill it with the lighter frosting. Oh. We're gonna make it like this. Or that's the goal. I think I might have enough. We'll see. If I do it like this. Maybe. Maybe not, though. Carefully spread around the middle. Uh, we'll see. Hold on. Ooh. I kind of have an idea if I don't have enough. But we'll see. Yeah, it's already like going back to melting. Oh my gosh. I just barely. Just barely made it. Let's go! <laughs> ah! Okay, I'm done with this shit. <laughs> ah! back in the fridge so it doesn't melt Drink. Yay, good job of believing you. <laughs> Thank you. Ugh. I literally had like just enough. Okay. Now to keep working on these terrible looking cake pop things.
Okay. melting so much I think um this recipe said if I wanted the icing to be thicker I should have added more icing sugar and I probably should have done that I don't I don't think that this is gonna look any thicker than it is right now even if I'm putting it in the freezer. I think I should have done like a melted chocolate, like a white chocolate instead of this, re I don't know. I thought this was a good recipe, but I don't think it is. <laughs> this and then eat it. <laughs> Since it's not really a cake pop anymore, it's like in the middle. It's a cake kebab. <laughs> Bob, yeah. How's it going so far? It's going an absolute mess. <laughs> That's how it's going. But it tastes good. Messes can form. <laughs> Messes can be forms of art, though. True. Very true. Um, okay. will actually close. Okay, so I don't really know what I'm doing with these yet. I might just like put them on the cake and then drizzle this on top. We'll see. Okay, so we have our cake. I'm just 
gonna wait for those cake pops to just stop dripping, I guess. We have our little, uh, little guy here. making the little face now. I have to warm this up in my hand. So this face that we're gonna make is just like straight across. I need to warm it up a little. I don't know where I put, um, I bought some, no I didn't, I didn't buy any. We're just gonna use this. Should have warmed it up enough. licking my toes. I'm just kind of like trying to heat up this white frosting, or not heat it up, but like warm it up. So it'll spread a little bit better than this black or brown frosting. Okay. Okay, 
Okay, so now we've got the little tea fish. There we go. Whew. What I want to do is just like one here I'm making it a little bit different <laughs> I think it's stopped. Um, it's dropped, stopped dripping, anyways. Or stopped dripping excessively. I think I'm gonna have the eyeballs on top instead of like looking out. It'll be kind of like a little all over the place. Tripping everywhere. <laughs> One more on a stick. Now 
like I'm like taking the icing off the stick, but yet it's still like running down on the stick. Okay. Monster cake! Done. <laughs> it looks monstrous. Ugh. How much, uh, how much does it resemble this? Inspo, uh, reality, inspo, <laughs> reality, really gives off monster vibes, very scary, oh man, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a slice of it, or sh should I take a slice? Timo would, <laughs> Timo would be proud! Oh, thanks. Thanks. Okay. Actually, I should probably keep these on here and then put this one on here. This is just going in the trash. Oh my gosh. He's making an absolute mess over here. Okay, these can go in here. This can go like up here. This can go in here. These can go in there. I just want like a clean counter. Or clean enough for a second while I flip. Show off the inside of the cake, right? Do we wanna we wanna cut a piece and see what the inside looks like? See if I can like there. How's that look? Are we gonna take a small piece from somewhere? I don't know where to take it from. Maybe like here. We'll just do like the tiniest little slice.
Dang, that turned out cool. I just got back. Thank you. We're taking out a slice. Yeah. So we've got um, this in the middle here is the same as the outside. I just food colored it. But we got a pumpkin spice cake with a caramel filling here and then a cinnamon spiced uh, frosting, buttercream frosting. And now I'm going to cover this. I don't know where I put the lid. Oh, here. Well, I guess I'll leave it out for a second while we eat some of it. What it tastes like. Yeah. Mmm. It's pretty good. It's very buttery. The frosting, like super buttery. But who doesn't love butter? <laughs> the the cake is very like lightly pumpkin flavor like tasting. It's not like overpowered. It's very airy. I don't know if you can see. Ah, hold on. Yeah, for real, nothing wrong with butter. Let's get some of this little caramel bit. Mm. I should have added more caramel. I was afraid it was going to be too much, and now I'm like, no, it wasn't enough. <laughs> mm. That was good, though. Wash it down with my apple cider. It's feeling like fall. Maybe not quite Halloween. Except the cake makes it kind of Halloween-y. I gave him like two normal eyes and then like eyes that like stick out. <laughs> okay. Oh no. Shoot. His tall eyes are a little too tall. I don't think I can close this. Shit. <laughs> well, they're getting smushed. Oh well. It doesn't. <laughs> I didn't think to like test it. It doesn't fit. <laughs> they got smushed. Oh man. Well that was good. Mm. Let's see here. I don't think it's my best cake. I think the chocolate cake was my best cake. <laughs> but I've also made the chocolate cake multiple times. Um, it's it's not a new cake to me. That, that cake was a new cake. I'd never made that before. Nor have I done um, cake pops. So that was a learning experience. Um dun 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 Let's see here. Turn out good though. Thank you, thank you. Um I'm 
trying to, I'm looking at where we could go. There's a couple good options. Oh, that person's having some stream issues, it looks like. Um, let's go here, because it's been a while since I raided here. And they're playing a really good game, in my opinion. Um, if you are not subscribed, you can use that raid message. Um, if you are subscribed... God, I can't type. You can use this one. Um. Oops. Um. Tomorrow, we're streaming again, at, but at 3 p.m. I was a little late to this stream. I'm hoping I won't be late to tomorrow's stream. Um. But we're going to be doing Kim Viver, so we're going to be probably just starting off with a little bit of knife throwing, because I hadn't done that in a while. Um, and I still want to try and get a bullseye on my target, not where I got a bullseye. I went somewhere and got a bullseye. But I want to try and get a bullseye on my target. I don't know if we'll get a bullseye. I want to do it for probably about an hour, and then I'll switch over to trying to make a fire, like I did the last time with, you know plank of wood and more wood <laughs> um and then Wednesday I will not be streaming I'll be taking that day off to work on some other stuff and then Thursday morning we'll get back to some echoes of wisdom yes fire time I know it's been like three weeks or something since I did the fire stream I was hoping to maybe do it sooner but other things got in the way but yeah, thank you guys for hanging out with me while I made this cake and watching me get frustrated with it. <laughs> I had never actually like decorated, decorated a cake, so this was also a first time for that too. So kind of learning experience all around. But yeah, I'll see you guys over at Andy Matters. See you. Thank you again. See you next time. <laughs>